As you can tell, we are now in Arizona, the Grand Canyon State. Now let's see how Arizona compares to Thailand. First off, most of the state does not bother with daylight savings time, and neither does Thailand. Take a close look at that clock hanging in the background. That's right, there is no hands. Even a broken clock is correct twice a day, but not this one. But the CEO of George's Pizza says it looks good. And that pretty much describes most Thais' attitude towards time. If someone says they will show up at 2 in the afternoon, they might mean today or tomorrow or even next week. They could arrive in the morning or at dinner time, or maybe not show at all. Personally, I think this is a pretty accurate Thai clock. I saw Mrs. Arizona carrying a bag of rambutans, which is a fruit that I had never experienced in the States. That bag probably cost about a couple bucks or so. It has the texture of cantaloupe and tastes like strawberries and grapes mixed together. It just so happens that the headquarters of Circle K is in Arizona and I will go out on a limb and say most Americans have been inside at least one. Did you know there's almost 10,000 Circle K stores in America? Instead of Circle K, Thailand has 7-Eleven outlets seemingly everywhere. Just a little over 13,000 are scattered through the land of smiles. And keep in mind, Thailand is about the size of Texas. And oddly enough, it's fairly common to see one 7-Eleven located fairly close to another one. Most of the people don't say 7-Eleven, but they say 7. It's hot outside. Let's have a Pepsi at the local 7-Eleven in the village. And there is your Pepsi. Thank you. Thank you. Drive right in and come as you are. We'll come out and serve you in your car. Yes, you get quick, convenient curb service at the 7-Eleven dairy stores. Your complete grocery list filled in a jiffy. Even though I live in the boonies of Thailand, the local 7-Eleven offers delivery. Personally, I prefer to do my shopping at the store. And at the local 7-Eleven here in town. And here's my chocolate selection. Arizona is a year-round destination for tourists, and so is Thailand. The largest cactus in the U.S. grows in Arizona, and cutting one down is illegal. Thailand has a large selection of cactuses, but I don't believe any of them are native. Did you know it's illegal to wear suspenders in the town of Nogales, Arizona? In Thailand, it is illegal to leave the house without underwear on. Luckily, I stay at D&G most of the time. Hey, are you hungry? Timmy Tungus in Thailand at George Pizza. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in Wyoming.